Hello my curious viewers and welcome to part 2 of my Star vs the Forces of Evil card dissection video. <sighs> Gosh what a mouthful. So last time we covered the different personalities of what the cards and their descriptions say versus the actual characters in the show. But today we're gonna talk about the different words at the very bottom and other things I didn't quite mention in my last analysis. So without further ado of course let's do the first one listed. Comma. It's in the heart section, so this most likely describes star. Kama, once you look it up, is one of the four main goals in life according to Hindu traditions. And in case you don't know, these are all four of the Hindu traditions. Kama basically means to have a sort of desire, wish, passion, and well, etc. Because they pretty much mean the same exact thing. Usually, it's supposed to resemble a sexual desire. Uh... Uh, I'll let the mature listeners of the video think about that. I was gonna say something about Star and Marco, but, you know, once again, I'll let the mature listeners think about that. The next one on the chart is Dharma, or Dharma. I'm not really too sure how to pronounce that. I'm pretty sure it's Dharma, which is defined as the principle of cosmic order. That's interesting, because this section is for Miss Highness, and she's all about order. Specifically, cosmic ordering relates to positive thinking or optimism in particular. Maybe the way she teaches helps her find hopefulness or joy. Perhaps just knowing that things are perfectly in the shape the way she wants it. And just like Marco, there's always order in organized rooms, which makes them both extremely satisfied. I try to be clean myself, so I guess I can relate to that. Is there some similarities for a reason or... Nah. Don't think I can compare the two with anything else except with those points. I think Marco just simply admired the organization. That's it. The third one listed is Artha, defined as type of goal or accomplishment in life. And you may be wondering, what could Queen Butterfly's goal be? Well... I have no idea, but I can only assume that it possibly is either getting Star into becoming a queen such as herself or keeping the kingdom under protection. And now, drum roll please. Get ready for what we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you, Maksha. I don't know, that, that word just has a kick to it. Let me say it again. Moksha. The word that will make this theory video even more interesting. Moksha means the cycle of rebirth. So anyone want to guess where I'm going to go with this? There's been speculations of Eclipso returning surfing all over the internet. However, there's also theories claiming that Toffee is Eclipse's son. Or grandchild, but let's be real, who really knows? Toffee is apparently friggin' immortal. Eclipsa is Star's grandmother from eight greats ago. Moon Butterfly still hasn't revealed any past history with Toffee. And Glossaric is missing, so even he won't be giving out too much information about anything, at least for now. He's been with the Butterfly family for generations. So if there's anyone else who may know everything about the past and what truly happened, it's him. And why else would the writers of the show slide in this line of dialogue? Unlock it! Hostage taking. Classic butterfly. But hey folks, that's all just a theory. If you enjoyed the rest of this speculation of the cards, please give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and most of all, have an amazing day. Oh yeah, and happy new years in case I don't make my next video before then. Catch you in the next one. Peace!